us wear ID badges now, and they often carry more than just our name and our picture. On college campuses, they get you into classrooms and they act like a bank. And these are called proximity cards because you just wave them near the card reader and it picks up the card's radio signal. It's convenient for you. But the iTeam's Dana Fowles here to tell us that the signal floating out there is easy for anybody to pick up. So this is pretty scary. Well, this is my ID badge, and it means it's something's floating out there right now as we speak with this thing. Now, huh. A maker of some of these cards has sent out a warning about something called bump and clone. Literally, you can just bump into somebody and grab their personal information from their badge. So we wanted to know how easy or maybe how difficult that would actually be to do. So we went to Georgia Tech's campus where their cards are the key to just about everything, even their dorms. <laughs> Nearly every entrance on the Georgia Tech campus requires a proximity card to get in. That's pretty crazy. Crazy is what junior Mark Sinnott says after he sees what we were able to do with his campus ID card called the buzz card. You know, I could just go like this. All while it was still in his pocket. In a split second, we lift his information and use it to open this campus gate. We were thinking it can't really be that easy, but apparently it is. That's scary. Walt Augustinowitz is CEO of Identity Stronghold, a company that sells sleeves that block the ability for cards to be cloned. He says that the buzz card has a chip inside it that sends your personal information to another spot via radio frequency. It's convenient, but security pays a price. These um, proximity cards that they use at a lot of colleges are, are totally clonable. When the radio signal floats from one place to the next, wide open for electronic pickpocketing. I'm just going to get this near it. Watch again and as we brush this antenna just inches now from sophomore Marta Correa's wallet. Instant access to a secured area on campus. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> it wasn't a fluke. We did it again and again and again. For just a few hundred bucks, our expert did this with just an antenna and a card reader. That's it. There wasn't any programming on my part involved with doing this. And just a quick brush up against a student, doors open. News to you, but to this nuclear engineering major, it's crossed his mind before. I was thinking it must be possible if I could just reflect something off of that. So now I know it's possible. No one at Georgia Tech would go on camera to talk about the vulnerabilities of the buzz card, but in an email, school administrators say they've used this card for 10 years and there have been no reports of malicious use. To be fair, it's not just Georgia Tech. There's lots of colleges, there's lots of uh, police stations, there's lots of all kinds of different secure buildings all over the country that use this same card. <laughs> folks you and I talk often enough that I already know what you're thinking somebody <laughs> would notice that one coming up to them well not every time they would and all you have to do is capture one card then you dub it over to your homemade buzz card now tech is not the only public state university to use these proximity cards Georgia Southern and Kennesaw State use them for dorm access mm. listen though UGA uses the proximity card but only to access the higher security buildings Wow so what do we do we have them now so. I know you got to cover mm -hmm. them up they they have sleeves for these things and you know what you'll also notice is that when you go to the airport right you see the big badges you're gonna see a big sleeve they're blocking the bumping and cloning ah. option Wow yeah, that's, that's pretty something. scary. All right, yeah. good to yeah, know that, anything Dana. anything digitally automated, you know, you're going to Yeah, you're going to have to block yeah. that signal, but I think right. most of us are nice and we don't steal, right? Uh, well, yeah. let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your time is now 638.